Hi, this is Angie from Angie Southern Kitchen, and today we're going to learn how to make pecan candy. And to me, pecan candy is a praline. I grew up really close to New Orleans, so that's something that we enjoy in that area of the, the world. And in this recipe, we have one cup of regular sugar, one cup of light brown sugar packed, one fourth cup of water, um, one teaspoon of vanilla, um, one third cup of light Cairo syrup, one tablespoon of butter, and one and one half cups of pecans. And I like to use whole pecans if I can get them. And so what I do in this is I dump my sugars in a large bowl. As you can tell, this is probably a two quart bowl. And put it all in there. And then I put my fourth a cup of water. And this is my corn syrup. And then I'm, you do not stir this, which is kind of odd, but you don't. And the reason you don't is because um, if you stir it, there will, sugar crystals will form on the outside and it will make the candy crystallize and there you won't end up getting as nice a product in the end. And I'm going to put this in the microwave and I'm going to turn it on for six minutes and in six minutes I've come to I've tested mine and you're re, you're trying to reach a softball stage which is 234 to 240 temperature and it will all bubble and all incorporate at that point and it'll be a really nice mixture so I'm going to put this in the microwave and we'll come back after it has reached 240 degrees after you go for the six minutes you're supposed to let it sit let it cool off for two minutes. And then once it cools for two minutes, then you wanna add your butter and stir that in, and your vanilla, and then your pecans. And you wanna stir it vigorously for about two minutes. And this incorporates air into the uh, cook the candy and makes it not so uh, chewy. It makes it light and crispy. Okay, now I've stirred it about two minutes. And as you can see, it's it's not translucent anymore, it's kind of an opaque color, and then you know you've got to start working fast. This is buttered um, aluminum foil, and I've also buttered my spoons, because if you don't, it will stick to them. I've scooped all of my pralines out, and you want to let them come to room temperature, and you want to store them in an air airtight container, and they will keep up to a week and they don't last that long at my house. But this is what they look like once they're done, and um, they're wonderful. And again, this is Angie from Angie Southern Kitchen, and you just learned how to make pecan candy.